when we were young, Mon and I, my mom would always take us everywhere. So if she would have shows in a hotel or in, in Hong Kong or anywhere, we would always be with her. So we would be used to seeing her diba, always na nakaayos and with this beaded gown. So most of the time when we would watch her and she would be introduced, we would mouth kasi memorized na namin. So parang ang babata pa namin, we knew na the older songs, diba? because we would always be with my mom. Yun yung ano parang upside. Yung downside naman, if you did something wrong in school, di ba, they'd call your parents to come to school. Um, she was always not there. Yung lagi siyang abroad, so it would be my tita or my lola. Or I would write my own excuse letters to say, I'm sorry, my mom cannot come today because like that. Ah, if I didn't go to school, I'd wait for the school to call. Lasal would call. I'd wait for that call. My mom, kasi comes from the generation na yung talagang everything, you know, hindi, my mom will not go, let's just put it this way, my mom will not go down from her room without, ano, at least lipstick or hindi nakaayos yung kilay. Hindi siya bababa ng bahay na hindi siya nakaayos. There was this one time where she was hospitalized. Sabi niya, siya nakaturban yung nanay ko. <laughs> Ganun. <laughs> Say niya, Jackie, say ko, Mom, how are you feeling? Mom and I are here, don't worry, you're, you're going to be okay. Say niya, I can't wear makeup. Say ko, yeah, Mom, you can't wear makeup in the ICU. Say niya, am I still beautiful? Of course, Mom, you're beautiful. Where's my makeup? It's just there, but say ko, you can't put it. So, fast forward, after two days, she was, nalipat na siya sa isang regular room. Pagdating namin yun, naka-full makeup na siya. <laughs> Say ko, Mom, you didn't waste any time. My mom is so funny talaga. I mean, she's just, ay nako. When Jackie wasn't home by 12, she'd be sitting down sa may stairs, waiting for Jackie to get home. From a date or from ano, ay nako, I'd be there parang making, oh, ma, wala pa si Jackie, oh, wala pa, oh, kita mo, 12 o'clock na, wala pa, oh. <laughs> We make fun of her. Sometimes um, we're just looking at each other. Like, for example, we're having lunch or somewhere. We're walking to a place somewhere, and me and Jackie will just look, each, look at each other, and she's going to say, What? Are you talking about me? Are you laughing at my shoes? Are you laughing at my clothes? I go, Ma, we're not even talking about you. <laughs> not yet, diba? We're not even talking about you yet, diba? No, you're talking about me. <laughs> Expressive ako sa kanya through hugs and kisses. Demonstrative. Uh, demonstrative. Uh, if she's not okay, or she, you give her a kiss, you give her a hug, parang, parang okay na siya. It would be so hard for me to tell my mom how I felt, if I felt bad, even if magpapaalam ako. I, I don't know why I couldn't verbalize how I felt. <clears throat> so, I would write her letters. If you wanted to say something na hindi mo masabi straight, you would write a letter and slip it under her door. And then when she woke up in the morning, we'd be in school na. So, mababasa niya yung letter, wala ka dun. Uh, so, pag uwi mo, kung nandun siya or wala siya, parang okay na, na-resolve na because you wrote her a letter saying, uh, Jackie would say what she wanted to say. Ako, all my letters were sorry for cutting class or sorry for wrecking your car. Sorry for drowning my cousins. Ganyan. <laughs> Ganyan, di ba? Just the fact that my mom kept all those letters just says how important me and Mon are to her. I remember there was a time when, when my stepdad was, you know, they had a fight. And I really remember what my mom told him. He said, the door is open. You can walk away, but I'm not leaving my children. It was the first time in a long time that I would meet my dad. Nung una, iniisip ko baka, baka ayaw niya or baka, you know, baka hindi okay, ganun. But hindi, um, uh, she arranged it. She called uh, my dad, um, she called Tita Annabelle, my dad's wife. So yun, um, she was very supportive. She was... Um, Wala, parang nakita ko din na she was happy na nagkita kami ng dad ko. There are no words to express uh, how much we appreciate and love her. Uh, the way she is, the way 
the way she brought us up, the way she still takes care of us at, up to now, everything. I cannot ano, enumerate ganun, in the, everything. To this day, I still want to say thank you, Mom, because she was bigger than her hurt and bigger than her pain that she didn't send my dad to prison. I would have never had a relationship with my dad if my mom was selfish. That's how unselfish my mom was. She allowed my dad back in my life and I, I really thank her so much for that. My parents may have separated at a young age, but I didn't feel left out because I had my mom and I had my dad in. I just want to thank you, mom, for that because I never felt like I didn't have both parents, even if they weren't together. Um, and I always say this to my mom. I always say thank you for that.